These are some of my favorite books at Little Scandinavia. Thorfinn, the nicest Viking. This one's Thorfinn, the nicest Viking and the awful invasion. And I'm going to just read chapter one to you to give you a little taste of what Thorfinn's like. Chapter one. Harold the Skull Splitter was a Viking chief. Like all Vikings, he'd been given a tough name when he came of age. Skull Splitter was the roughest and toughest name his parents could think of, and Harold was one of the roughest and toughest Vikings ever. One day, Harold came back from a sea voyage. He kicked open his front door in the usual Viking way. Blam! I'm hungry! What's for dinner? Then he let out a cry of horror, for standing in the kitchen was the most terrifying thing he had ever seen, more terrifying than the two-headed sea monster of Kroll, more terrifying than the painted cannibals of Chalcedonia. It was Thorfinn. He was doing the dishes. Great Thor, what on earth do you think you are doing, Harold shouted, his great bushy beard glimmering gold in the light from the fire. Thorfinn turned round a kindly smile spreading upon his face. Greetings, dear father, he said. How pleased I am to see you. Did you have a pleasant voyage? Harold screwed up his face in disgust. Pleased? Pleasant voyage? Bah! I'm a Viking. By Odin, I burn. I pillage. I bite chickens' heads off and spit them at old ladies. I do not have pleasant voyages. Do you understand? Oh, yes, said Thorfinn. I'm sorry, I forgot. Harold's face screwed up even more. Mother was so tired, said Thorfinn. I have a page turn problem. New pages always stick. She dragged a whole goat up from the bottom of the yard. I thought she could do with a nap, so I sent her off to bed with a nice cup of tea while I did the dishes. A nap! Thorfinn's father was spitting with rage now, and his eye was twitching. Harold had an incredibly twitchy eye, probably from all those battles he'd fought in. He'd been in about 200 battles. He was fearless. Viking wives don't have naps. Viking women are strong. They chop down trees. They terrify wild bulls. Harold looked again at his son and groaned. And Viking sons don't make nice cups of tea. Do you hear? But Dad... It's hard work looking after Viking families, Thorfinn replied. I mean, all that eating meat with bare hands and beer splashing all over the place. No wonder the poor woman is tired. Harold saw the kindness and gentleness in his son's eyes, and all of a sudden his anger melted away. How could anyone be angry with Thorfinn? Even Harold, a man who was known as the terror of the North Sea, couldn't be angry with him. He sighed and sat down and then picked Thorfinn up and plonked him on his knee. What am I going to do with you, he said. You go around the village, taking your helmet off to people and saying, good day, you make jam, you drink tea, you help old people across the street. It's, it's not on. I mean, you don't have any decent Viking qualities at all. Harold often wondered if his son had been swapped at birth, perhaps by a witch. Or maybe one of the Viking gods did it for a laugh. Maybe his real son was being brought up in a quiet family in one of those awful, peaceful countries where no one had battles. Hmm, Harold said in his bit, what will I do with you? What, what, what? And you're going to not want to miss the rest of the book because you're going to find out what Harold does to save the day. And... There's all of these books, The Gruesome Games, The Rotten Scots, The Disgusting Feast, The Raging Raiders, The Dreadful Dragon, and The Terrible Treasure. And in the back of each book, there's some games, some cards, and you won't want to miss these books. They are really good. My grandsons loved them. <laughs>